Hey, what's up guys? Yes, I'm finally back after a few months away. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. Since the last video back in March, the channel has almost tripled in subscribers and I only have you guys to thank for that. If you are new to the channel, welcome. I hope you enjoy the content and if you do, consider subscribing. If you really like the content, give the video a thumbs up. It'll really help with the YouTube algorithm to share the video to a bigger audience. So without further ado, let's get into this project. For the next build, I decided to go for something slightly different to my usual projects. I found this H1 Hummer by Meng while browsing through a website for a Hong Kong based hobby shop. Got it ordered and was delivered within a week. Also got the detail up kit which includes a roof rack, a replacement front bull bar and some spotlights. This kit in general is pretty good. This is my first main kit and overall I have to say the quality of the molds were pretty good. Quite a lot of parts to this one which is why I decided to split the build into three videos. For part one I'll show you guys my approach for the chassis assembly and the wheels. As usual, I started by cutting up the parts of the sprues and cleaned up any excess flash. This kit comes with a lot of detail, especially considering everything that goes into the assembly for the chassis itself. Definitely a first for me. Once all the parts were cleared up, I gave them a quick wash and some soapy water and waited for them to dry. Before I got to start painting, there were some parts that could be assembled before. The engine block, fuel tank, rear bumper, crankshaft and gearbox had to be glued together first. Before painting, I started off by putting a couple of coats of primer on all the parts. It helps the paint to stick a little better. For this, I used Mr. Hobby's Grey Service Primer. Once everything was primed, I started painting. The main chassis frame and some suspension parts were sprayed with Tamiya's X1 Gloss Black. Then I used Mr. Hobby's 30YL Gloss Clear to protect the paint. Next, the fuel tank had to be a beige color, so I mixed the Mears X2 with Mr. Hobby's dark yellow at a 12 to 1 ratio. And the remaining parts were also all painted. For all the flat colors, I spread a coat of Mr. Hobby's flat clear to protect the paint and we were ready for some assembly. There were a couple of more parts that needed to be glued together before assembly. 
So that was done and I started assembling the chassis. As mentioned earlier, this is the first time I've put together such a detailed chassis in particular. Really like what Meng have done with this kit so far. Once the fuel tank and crankshaft was fitted into place, some detail had to be painted and the engine had to be put together. Overall very straightforward and without much drama. Once the gearbox was installed, it was time to fit the engine onto the chassis. Once the engine was fitted into place, a few more pieces had to slot in and we could move on to finishing off the wheels. First there were some photo edge parts that needed to be glued into place on the rims. Then I painted the wheel nuts to give it a little bit more detail and finally I had to fit the tyres onto the rims. I was a little worried because I had painted the tyres it might cause an issue for when I had to get them fitted and they did. I should have sprayed the tyres off the fitment. Either way, to resolve this, I'd masked up the rims and I sprayed the tyres again. It wasn't perfect, but it didn't come out too bad in the end. Next up, getting the wheels fitted to the chassis. That's it for part 1 of the H1 Hummer build guys, I hope you enjoyed the start of this 3 part video series, we'll be back soon to show you how the interior was put together, see you next time, keep modelling.